Hi, I'm John Weber and welcome to another TechNection video tutorial. This time we are going to talk about a useful feature of the wireless radios present in nearly all TechNection products, which is called concurrent mode. In an earlier video, you may remember, we covered station mode where a device established a network connection to a local access point, And we also covered access point mode where a device already has a hardwired connection to the local network and can function as an access point, allowing other devices or stations to connect to the local network. In this video, we're going to go over concurrent mode, which is essentially the mode where the device can simultaneously act as both a station connecting to the local access point wirelessly and an access point allowing other devices to connect to the local network bridges the two connections together. Concurrent mode can be very useful. For example, in embedded applications where no wired networking interfaces are available, concurrent mode can be used to first establish a connection to a device locally from a mobile device in order to establish or manage or provision it under the local wireless network. So let's get started. First, I'll go over the local network topology. I have a Zada XA2200 mesh enterprise access point set up in my office here. And this is what my device, a Pico IMX8 Mini, with its integrated Pixie 937070 radio will be using to establish a connection to the internet. First, we will configure and start up a local access point on the Pico module, and then we will connect it wirelessly to the XA2200 access point in concurrent mode. I'll then connect to the device using my laptop here to show you that we can browse the web pages and such. Something to note beforehand, and I'll go over it in the demonstration. In order for concurrent mode to work, there is a special peer-to-peer -peer interface that needs to be present. This interface is automatically generated by the QCA9377 wireless LAN drivers, but the drivers need to be configured and built with the P2P option enabled. To be honest, we've had this enabled in many demo images in the past, but we disabled it by default in some images built in the last nine months to a year. However, from Yocto 3.0 onward, our demo images all have this option enabled and can thus work in concurrent mode by default. I'll show you how to check for this when we go through the process. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what you're seeing here is my desktop. I'm running a Linux virtual machine on a Mac uh, computer right now. I've already connected to the Pico module here via serial port, as you can see. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to check to see if your device has the concurrent mode option enabled or the peer-to-peer -peer interface enabled in the wireless LAN driver. So to do that, it's very simple. All you need to do is type ifconfig, I-F-C-O-N-F-I-G, and you need to look for this P2P0 interface there. This interface is what is necessary. If you don't have that, you can go to the link here below and it will show you how to enable that and rebuild the driver. Um, by default, all of our demo images now have this enabled, but it may not be enabled in your demo image. So if you need to do that, uh, go ahead and refer to that link. But this, we have it enabled, obviously, so we're gonna go to the next step. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to establish a an access point we're going to create an access point here um, and the way we do that is we use conman control so we c-o-n-n-m-a-n-c-t-l and i'm going to use the tether command tether wi-fi on and then i'm going to give it an ssid i'm going to call it my ap m-y-a-p and then i have to give it a passphrase one two three four five six seven eight and so once this is done, everything is good. We should have an access point available um, if that is available. So you see that the My AP access point is now available to my laptop, but I haven't established a connection to the internet yet on this particular device on the Pico modules. So in order to do that, all I need to do is type and go back into Conman control, CTL, and then I'll go through the same sequence of commands that we will use to establish a station mode connection to a local access point. So type agent on and scan Wi-Fi. That will give me a list of services. Scan is completed. I just let list out the services. And here is the Zada XA2200 radio. Now, when you have the peer-to-peer -peer interface enabled in your driver, you're going to see two services enabled for every access point that is actually present in your local network. One of the services will have 
a MAC address embedded in the service name, which is equal to the MAC address of the wireless LAN zero port, which you, you can see if you run ifconfig. The other service will have the MAC address equal to the P2P port. When we are establishing a station connection to a local access point, we need to use this one here, which is the one that is for our wireless LAN zero interface. So I'm going to go ahead and type connect. And I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it into the console. And then I am going to have to enter my passphrase in. And I've set that to a very simple passphrase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very simple. So if we did this right, we should see the connections fire up. Looks like we're good. We can go ahead and quit out of command control. And now just to show that we have this connection established, I'm going to go and ping Google. So ping www.google.com. You can see we have that connection established. Other ways to check it would be to run ifconfig and look at the IP addresses. So we can see that the wireless LAN zero interface has this 192.168.1.2. The tether interface is connected here. Um, that's one we're not going to necessarily worry about. This is one that's sort of automatically generated, but this is the one that is the IP address that was provided to our local uh, device here by the, the Zada XA2200 access point. So we're all good there. Now, the next thing to do is to connect to the Pico modules access point from my laptop. So I can just come into here. I can see my AP. Let's give it the correct password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And show it. There we go. I hit join. We should be good. Now I can go ahead and bring up, say, Firefox. And then I can just go over to www.google.com. Looks like we're good here. What if we check some other? address www.techconnection.com there we go so we're all set now everything is looks like it's a-okay -okay. and that's concurrent mode guys um, in a future video what i would like to do is to show you how concurrent mode can be used for um, device provisioning but that is for the subject of another video thanks again for joining this session with me please join me again for another technician tutorial i'm john weber see you next time